and between Francis and Jim, uh, I, was, I came to the next transpersonal conference and I'd found my tribe. It's like, ah, a community, a sangha, a group of people exploring this interface between, between psychology and spirituality. And it provided an intellectual framework, an umbrella, because in the first, this was the first time in history that we had and have all the world's spiritual traditions available to us, all the contemplative practices, plus a psychology which recognizes altered states of consciousness and transpersonal developmental stages. So that for the first time in the West, we have a psychology which is adequate to an understanding of the great spiritual traditions and doesn't uh, reduce them to pathology or some problematic status. And now there was a way of understanding these spiritual traditions as psycho-spiritual technologies for inducing altered and higher states of consciousness, for cultivating post-conventional post transpersonal developmental stages, and for cultivating the great virtues, love, compassion, wisdom, empathy, that the great traditions have, have held as their ideals across the millennia we could now understand these traditions and make sense of them. And therefore, we could function as Gnostic intermediaries. Now, David gave a nice introduction to Gnostic intermediaries. But as far as I can see, they, to be a Gnostic intermediary requires three things. Gnostic intermediaries, as David said, usually transmit wisdom across cultures. And it requires three things. First is to imbibe the wisdom. Second is to know the language and concepts and, of the culture or community you're trying to com communicate to. And third is to be able to translate in such a way as to create an aha experience for people, whereby these things make sense. And that has been, one of, has been and is one of our central functions as transpersonal psychologists. So traditionally, Gnostic intermediaries have, as David said, translated wisdom from one culture to another. But now for the first time in history, they're also called on to do something else. Because now the great religions and contemplative traditions are migrating not only from one culture to another, not only from east to west, but literally across eras because these traditions were born in agrarian civilizations of mythic worldviews. And now they're coming to a, an industrial information society with a postmodern worldview. So we are called to translate not only across cultures, but across eras. Because religious, the, the mythic worldview and, and language and concepts have no validity to a post-conventional mindset to, and to a, to a post-modern mindset. So transpersonal psychology then allows us to function as Gnostic intermediaries, translating ancient spiritual ideas into contemporary psychological concepts and frameworks, and thereby allows us to, to understand, to explain, and to legitimize these invaluable traditions. Remember the old, uh, old uh, United States Army uh, advertisement, become a, Uncle Sam needs you, become a GI? Well, it's true, Uncle Sam does need you. Become a GI, but become a real GI. Become agnostic intermediary. <laughs> 